morning everybody it is 4 24 october 21st and i want to share a dream that i had this morning i'm going to just get right to it then i got a few other things i want to share with you on video um i like to show this picture here because there's a lot in it to see a whole lot and we guys we know we we wrestle not with flesh and blood but spiritual wickedness you see the angel blowing the trumpet above my head and then over my shoulder you see those other spirits these are very real you guys this has like been going on for quite a while but uh what's most important when you see the angel blowing the trumpet over my head look at the end of that trumpet the white horse and the bathtub it's where we make ourselves ready by the blood of christ a lot of us are wondering you know how much longer we have, how much longer, you know, because all the things that we've been seeing. Well, I'm going to share a clip with you right after this uh, dream and uh, song. But anyhow, this dream that I had, I, I've remodeled my entire life, you guys. I've done, this is the type of work that I've done. And generally when I start, I go into the very farthest point of the place and I work my way out towards the entrance, now, in this dream, this is what's different about it. We were at the entrance, okay? I've always started in the back and worked my way out towards the entrance. So when I finished, it would the entrance would be new and clean, not, you know, from all the traffic going in and out. So being at the entrance, for me, that tells me we're right at the door because that's when I would normally complete my work and be finished okay, and uh, be done. Now, what happened was we were there looking, and I seen in the corner um, drywall tape in the corner of the wall where it was twisted. And the only thing that would cause that to be twisted would be a shift, a shift. It would have to be like, a, like an earth shift, like the foundation gave way and, uh, and then caused that shift. It would have to be a crack in the foundation. So, I grabbed this tape, and I said, well, we got to take this out, and I got to fix this before we do anything, and, and I cut the tape, and I started pulling it, but it was like pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling for very long, and then the uh, other guy that was there with me, he was holding all this tape, and I'm like, this is crazy. I said, I've never seen anything like this. I said, this is just going on and on and on. Like it's the longest piece of drywall tape, and that's what you use to put on a crack to repair damage. And uh, it just kept pulling like for un an endless amount of time, you guys. I mean, just ridiculous. You wouldn't believe how much I was pulling. Like it was the longest crack in the world. And, uh, and then immediately after that, I'm holding a drywall tape down to the floor, on the ground, on the floor, from that crack to the floor. So that tells me that this is a crack that's about to happen on the floor, okay? And we're at the entrance. In other words, I think this is getting ready to happen now, okay? And this is like a commercial uh, site. But anyhow, um, he told me, he goes, what's the measurement? And I looked down at it, and it was like looking through a piece of thin plastic and I'm looking I'm going hmm, it's a little difficult to see here and I looked real close got real close to it and it said 101 and then I seen five beside it 101 and then a five I think the five represents grace and it's getting ready to come to an end and uh the 101 for me you guys have heard uh class 101 like learn go learn 101 well, for me, 101 also represents um, it's not going to be good, okay, for me. Because uh, whenever I've had 101, it was not good. I've had times where I was expecting large pays, and I got 101. In other words, it was not what you expect. And uh, that's what happened. And then um, I took in... Uh, woke up from the dream but that's what it was for me you guys i just wanted to share that with you 
So now you know. And uh, now I'm going to share a little video with you. I tried doing this earlier. And uh, the video would not load up. It disappeared on me. And I hope this doesn't happen again. We'll see. Okay. Here we go. We look around at the state of the world and we ask, how much longer, Lord? We see our persecuted brothers and sisters and we ask, how much longer, Lord? We see floods and fires destroying family homes and we ask, how much longer, Lord? We see earthquakes, famines, and pestilences, and we ask, how much longer, Lord? We see the perilous times and the hearts growing cold. And we ask, how much longer, Lord? We see the signs of the sun and moon and stars. We look up with expectation and excitement. We think to ourselves, each day that passes brings us one day closer to our hope. We see the animals dying off in mass amounts. We see the wars and rumors of wars. We see Jerusalem in the center of the news. The obsession, the burdensome stone to the nations round about. We see the players of the Ezekiel 38 war at the ready. We hear the constant call for peace and safety. We know that time is short. We know that it's drawing near. We find ourselves daily asking, how much longer, Lord? But what we need to remember is that we need to have faith in God's timing. Lean on God's timing and God's will, not ours. My will and my timing would be this very minute. Your timing might be the moment after a loved one gets saved. A worldly Christian's will might be that Jesus comes after they've married, had children, and grandchildren. None of our wills and timing will be perfect. We see through a glass darkly. We do not see the full picture. God sees the full picture. He sees the beginning, the middle, and the end. His timing and his will are always what we should focus on. He has shown us many signs. He has given us many verses telling us how to recognize when his return is near. And they are all here, all around us. Hallelujah. Let's continue to put our faith in his will and his time. Let's put our faith in him alone. Remembering, faith in God includes faith in his timing. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13 we are to be looking for his return, seeking him, searching for him, watching for him. Luke 21, 28, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption. Draw nigh, begin to come to pass. We are far beyond the beginning of these things. 
we are seeing the birth pains increasing and we are seeing it all over the news. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 18. We are to be comforting one another with these words.
rescue him I will protect him for he knows my name he will call on me and I will answer I will be with him always and I will honor him and with love i